Good morning, Glads. We made it through another week. I'm Kieran McAfee. And I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this is your KWHS News. We have a plate full of announcements, but we're heading to the cafeteria first to find out what's on the lunch menu today from Miss Betsy and her guests. Happy Friday, everybody. I have my friends with me to let you know what's on the menu. Friday's orange chicken. Monday, corn dog. <laughs> and on Tuesday, we're having a soft chicken taco. Come down and see us. Have a great day. Bye. Corn dog. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, the semester is almost over and you need to pay your lunch charges. Add money to your account in person or online. Students, the Blue Federal Impact Aid forms were due in October. If you haven't turned yours in yet, come on, man. get your forms signed and returned to the attendance office immediately. Glads, here is your weekly update on yearbook prices. Yearbook prices are going up on Monday, December 11th to $65. Also seniors, the yearbook staff wants to ensure they receive all your photos and quotes. Please stop by to see Ms. Kennedy in room 104 today before or after school to double check. Juniors and seniors, listen up! Here are some very important graduation announcements from the Counseling Center. For those of you planning to attend college visits in 2018, pencil in Lamar Community College on February 18th. Remember, you will need a pass from the Counseling Center to attend this visit. For those seniors graduating in December, congratulations! Please see Miss Abeda in the Counseling Center for more important graduation information. Herf Jones will be here today at lunch to help you order your graduation announcements. This will be the deadline for announcement orders. They can also help you place your class ring and cap and gown orders at this time. The deadline for those orders is December 21st. If you cannot place your order today, you can always go to www.yourgrad.com and take care of it online. Also seniors, class shirts are going fast. Buy yours soon because there's a limited number of shirts in preferred sizes for sale. Get yours now for $15 in the front lobby. And the final note from the counseling center and business office. This one is for everyone, not just graduating seniors. Be sure to check Infinite Campus to see if you owe any fees for books, uniforms, or class fees. The business office can get you a printed statement of those fees so you can pay them off and get your diploma or grades on time. When we come back, we'll have a list of holiday fundraisers for next week. But first, we're throwing it to Moose Santos for a Gladiator Sports update. It's Friday morning, Glads. I'm Moose Santos with your Gladiator Sports Update. Before we start the sports news today, we'd like to give a huge shout out to Coach O for winning the Papa John's Denver's Coach of the Month. He gets a $250 gift card and pizza for the team. Thanks to everyone who voted for Coach O. Our winter sports teams are gearing up for some great matches and games this weekend. Let's start with forensics. Hot on the heels of their successes last weekend and this week, the forensics team heads to Cherry Creek this Saturday for a huge tournament. Go get them. In basketball news, at the Pueblo County tournament yesterday afternoon, our Lady Glads East took the sting out of those Hornets. The ladies are back on the court tonight against Pueblo West at 8 p.m. and then they face Loveland Saturday morning at 10.30. We'll have those scores for you on Monday morning. Our men's basketball team also took to the court in Pueblo last night against Pueblo South. Although our glads look strong, those ponies ran away with the game. Tonight, the boys take on Palisade at 4 p.m. and then at noon on Saturday, they play against Pueblo Central. Again, we'll have the scores for those games on Monday. Hoping to capitalize on their strength from the start of the season, our wrestling team tried to heat up the mad last night against the Falcon Falcons. Next up for our Gladiator wrestlers is Lewis Palmer Rangers on Saturday at 9 a.m. If you can make it up to Monument, the team would appreciate your support. In swimming news, our Gladiator swim team took on the Manitou Mustangs on Wednesday afternoon. And darn, those horses were as fast in the water as they are on land. The ladies are on the road in Pueblo for their next and last meet of the semester on December 14th. And finally, Here's Doc with some great info to help us survive the stress of final exams. Hey guys, it's Doc with your health tip of the week. So as our semester comes to an end, I know it's been fun, but it's coming quickly to the end of semester and we'll be having finals very soon, which can be very stressful. So in preparation for this, because we have a couple weeks left, you should start studying. See what areas you are struggling with. Ask your teachers for help. There'll be some study sessions after school in the library. And so use those resources because when you reduce your stress, 
you keep yourself healthier. Many people get sick after finals because their bodies are so worn down from the stress and I want you to be able to enjoy your Christmas break. So prepare for that, keep yourself healthy, and we'll see you next semester. Thanks, Doc. That's some great advice for all of us. Good luck to our sports team this weekend. That's it for our sports update. Have a great Friday. I'm Moose Santos. Now back to you, Corinne and Kieran. Thanks, Moose. Glad the 180 Club continues collecting canned goods and non-perishable food items next week for the Whitefield High School Christmas baskets. Remember to bring those items in, such as potatoes, gravy, canned veggies, cereal, mac and cheese, peanut butter and jelly, soups, and box desserts. Last year, the 180 Club distributed baskets to 30 Whitefield High School families, and we can do better this year. Bring your donations to any teacher in the math department. Donations will be collected until December 18th. Please help. Glads, the WSD3 toy drive is going on now until December 20th. Some of the items you can bring are unwrapped, new or gently used toys or gift cards for older students. These gifts will be distributed to families in the WSD3 area. If you bring in gift cards, please deliver those to the front office. All other gifts can go under the tree in the front lobby. If you cannot bring in a toy or a gift card, no worries. Today is a hat day. Be sure you have your wristband to support this fundraiser. If you miss this week's event, no problem. Next Friday, there will be a pajama day. Buy a band for a dollar on Thursday and Friday morning to participate. Glads, do you have overdue books in your locker, car, backpack, or under your bed? If so, the Media Center would like them back. Find those books, return them, and pay your fines before the end of the semester. Books not returned and fines do not paid will result in fees assessed to your account. The last day to return books is December 19th. Psst. Glads, did you know the final exams are just around the corner? Not ready? No problem. You have one more Thursday to get some free tutoring from some really smart NHS students during advisory. All you have to do is sign up Thursday morning. Let these really smart students help you out. The library is only available for computer use and tutoring on Thursdays. Attention freshmen, if you haven't made it to a free tutoring session with NHS, Link Crew has your backs for final exam. Coco and Cram happens on Monday, December 18th from 3 to 4.30 p.m. Here's how it works. Bring your study guides and books and join Link Crew leaders in the science hallway. They will help you study and feed you co cookies and hot cocoa to help you remember all the materials you need to remember for finals. Cocoa and cram is making me hungry. I mean, a Chipotle burrito sounds really good right now, but I'm going to have to wait until Monday. That's when the Freshman Council is having their fundraiser at the Southgate Chipotle from 4 to 8 p.m. Grab a flyer like the one pictured here from any Freshman Council member to Miss Hines in room 2. Take it to the Southgate Chipotle and hand over when you pay. Then. Get your grub on. Freshman Council will thank you and so will your belly. Hey, Glads! Santa's coming! Santa's coming! The Wildfield High School Marching Band is hosting Breakfast with Santa tomorrow morning in the small gym from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Santa's coming to town! Santa! Oh my god! Santa here? I know him! I know him! Cost for the event is $4 for adults and $2 for children. Bring your friends, family, and your appetites. And finally, today during lunch in the small gym, Student Cabinet is having a Drunk Goggles obstacle course as a part of their Drive Smart Week. It's free! Bring your friends and enjoy the experience, but we're warning you, you might lose your lunch. That's all for our news today. Have a great Friday. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this is your KWHS News. Have a great weekend. Ryan Mall got run over by a reindeer Walking home from...